Gyre is a natural place in the ocean where the currents come together and it basically is a dead end. So these are naturally occurring oceanic circulation patterns that are driven by the winds in the world, which is the trade winds in the westerlies. So there are five major oceanic gyres. You get a gyre whenever there is a big enough water space. You have one in the North Atlantic, South Atlantic, North Pacific, South Pacific, and Indian Oceans. And so what these gyres do is they circulate and they bring all the things that are floating in them towards the middle. It could be feathers, it could be wood, and it can be plastic. Now everything else will, either, will biodegrade eventually or sink, but plastic never biodegrades, and so that's why you see a lot of plastic accumulating in the oceanic gyres. A common misconception is that there's some kind of island of trash that you can find and walk on and see, but actually um, the ocean looks pretty normal out there. Um, it's really beautiful blue color and it stretches to the horizon and you see pieces of trash floating by every so often, but you can't see like a big swirling mass. But where the sad part really comes in is when you drag a fine mesh net through the ocean, um, which is what we do to measure the plastic. And then you see all these tiny little pieces that you can't see with your naked eye when you're just looking at it. So you, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces out there spread across the surface of the ocean that you can't easily see. So we know that plastics in the environment are bad for a lot of organisms and the ones we know the most about are the big animals that come to land that are easy to see. So we know for example that seabirds eat plastic, turtles will eat plastic, um, sometimes they get entangled in discarded plastic. Um, we have a lot of problems with seals and with whales getting entangled or eating plastic. So we know that those animals have really bad interactions with lost or discarded plastic items in the environment. We know a lot less about the impact on the smaller animals that are the base of the food chain. And we think that's really important because without these microscopic animals, we wouldn't have these larger animals. This is the tiny plants and the tiny animals that fuel the whole rest of the oceanic e ecosystem. Sort of the upside of this really sad issue is that everyone can help. Um, everyone can prevent plastic from going in the ocean by properly disposing of their own trash and by picking up trash that they see that has been littered. And that's because the ocean is downhill from everywhere. So even if you live inland, water, plastic that's floating in your rivers and streams is going to the ocean eventually. So you can actually help prevent marine debris wherever you might be.
Joseph, CTD war. Yeah, go faster.